Inside Out by Wendy Stofan Halley. Carly had a magical life. Every day she laughed and played with her special friend, Natasha. They pretended to jump on clouds and walk on the moon. They bounced on the bed like kangaroos, and sometimes they even rolled around like leaves blowing in the wind. Playing with Natasha was Carly's favorite thing to do. One day, Carly and Natasha had a tea party. There were chocolate swirl cookies, blueberry pie, and vanilla ice cream sandwiches. Carly's mother came out and poured a cup of sweet cinnamon tea with milk. Mom, you forgot to give Natasha some tea. Oh, I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I didn't see her, Mom said. She poured another cup of tea and went back inside. Why can't my mom see you? Carly asked. Only you can see me, Natasha said. I'm your invisible friend. What do you mean? Natasha dunked a chocolate swirl cookie into her tea. I don't have a body like you do. I'm a spirit, silly. Carly's eyes got big. A spirit? You mean a ghost? Oh, no, Natasha said. I'm not a ghost. A spirit is kind of like an angel without wings. She sighed. I like wings. I wish I had wings. I wish I was a spirit, Carly mumbled. You are a spirit, silly, Natasha said. Your spirit is the most important part of you. It's who you really are. Carly looked at her reflection in the teapot. I don't see it anywhere. Your spirit is hard to see because it lives in an apartment inside your heart. How did it get there? Carly asked. Natasha took Carly by the hand and they sat under a shady tree. Let me tell you a story, Natasha said. Once upon a time, there was a shiny spirit named Carly. She lived among the stars with all sorts of other shiny spirits. One day, Natasha continued, Carly the spirit decided to come to Earth and be born as a human being. So, she picked the perfect parents, and after nine months, she was born inside a little tiny baby. Hey, Carly giggled. This story is about me, isn't it? Yep, Natasha said. You see, when a spirit decides to live in a body, it forgets who it really is. So, to help Carly remember, her special friend Natasha, that's me, came to Earth to remind her. Carly clapped her hands, and now we play and laugh and eat lots of blueberry pie and chocolate swirl cookies. Natasha nodded. Always remember who you are, a beautiful, shiny spirit made of love and light. Carly's smile grew bigger and bigger. I can feel my spirit shining inside me, she said, putting her hand over her heart. Your spirit helps you love yourself and everyone around you, Natasha said, but it's easy to be distracted by the outside world and forget who you really are. You don't have to worry about me, Carly declared. I promise to remember. That's great, Natasha said. Then I, I guess it's time for me to go. They hugged and Carly's eyes filled with tears. Will I ever see you again? She asked. Don't be sad, Natasha said. I'll come back if you ever need me. 
Carly waved goodbye as Natasha flew off to her home in the stars. At first, Carly really missed Natasha, but as time went by, it became harder and harder to remember her invisible friend. She spent lots of time reading books and making up stories about dinosaurs, spaceships, and enchanted fairies. The kids at school teased her for being so quiet, and it was hard for Carly to make friends. Every day, her heart felt heavier and heavier, until all the magic that had once filled her life was gone. One afternoon at the bus stop, two girls were picking on Carly. One grabbed her books and started a game of keep away. Hey, Carly Barley, she yelled, want to know why you don't have any friends? Because you think you're smarter than everyone else, the other girl taunted. Carly tried not to cry, but the tears slipped out anyway. She ran straight home to her bedroom and covered her face with her hands. Why doesn't anyone like me, she sobbed. Suddenly, there was a whoosh near Carly's window, and she felt something bouncing beside her like a kangaroo. She looked up. Who are you, Carly asked. Don't you remember me? I'll give you a hint. The shiny being flopped onto the floor and rolled around and around like a leaf blowing in the wind. Natasha, Carly yelled. Jumping up, she hugged her invisible friend and they danced around the room, fluttering like butterflies. Then Carly stopped dancing and sat on the bed. I'm not a very good friend, she said. When I forgot about you, I forgot all about my spirit, too. How will I ever get it back? Natasha held up a mirror, and Carly saw that she was glowing brighter and brighter. Hey, she said, it's still there. Suddenly, Carly felt her spirit warm inside her. I never want to forget again, she declared. Natasha raised her eyebrows. How will you remember? Hmm. Carly looked out the window and thought for a moment. Then she snapped her fingers. I've got it! I'll just live inside out, Carly said. What do you mean? Since my spirit lives inside my heart, I want it to always shine through to the outside. Yes, inside out, Natasha sang. That's a perfect way to let everyone know the real you. Then... Carly reached down and took off her shoes and socks. What are you doing? Natasha asked. Carly turned her socks inside out and put them on again. From now on, she said, I'm going to wear my socks like this, so I'll always remember to live inside out. That's a great idea, Natasha said. If I had feet, I'd wear my socks that way too. For the rest of the day, Carly and Natasha laughed and played. They pretended to jump on clouds and walk on the moon. They bounced on the bed like kangaroos and rolled around like leaves blowing in the wind. Carly's life was magical once again, and this time she was going to keep it that way. <laughs>